Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this makeup look right here. It is a very graphic eyeshadow, kind of inspired by kind of like the graphic liner trend kind of going around. Um, and very just dewy skin, which I've been really doing lately. And yeah, if you guys want to learn how to do this type of makeup, just keep watching the video. <laughs> Don't mind my puppy dog ears. <laughs> So today I want to do something kind of a little bit kind of artistic a little bit <laughs> and uh, today's palette I'm going to use is the Mimi Mitchell, oh well made by Mitchell, uh, feet on the ground pressed pigment palettes. It's a super pretty palette but I'm not going to do anything like super super crazy colorful um, but you're probably thinking it's like then why are you going to use a colorful palette? Just wait. <laughs> All right, because I have really pretty strings in it. So, uh, I am so annoying. I deeply apologize. So, this is as close you guys are gonna get. So, I'm gonna quickly start off by priming my eyes with my soft ochre paint pot, paint pot from Mac. <laughs> um, because this has been my new favorite thing to prime my eyes lately, and it doesn't increase as fast as like a concealer would and it'll last a little bit longer so I'm gonna use this sorry I'm like kind of filming with both natural light and a ring light today so if the lighting is off I really deeply apologize <laughs> I'm just trying to think of different places to film in my room you know what I just need to close this window all right I figured out what was the problem carry on Okay, now that my eyes are nice and primed, I'm gonna go ahead and take a small angled brush and I'm gonna start off by taking the shade Board in the House. It's this really nice, kind of mossy green brown. I'm gonna take my angled brush to kind of shape out the shape that I wanna do because I kinda wanna do this like winged out kind of a graphic liner but with shadow. So I'm gonna use this to kind of sketch out where I wanna do the shape as if I'm doing like a wing liner at a higher angle and then kind of taking a little bit more um, swooping it down and then back up. I'm horrible at teaching. This is really bad. Something kind of like that. Because... I don't know. This shape just been looking really fun to me lately, so <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. But I'm just kind of using the shadow to kind of perfect my lines. And if it's because it's also eyeshadow too, you can blend it away if you make it any, type, any type of mistake. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and catch this eye up to kind of match it up to make it look even. Okay, so I have both eyes matched up as e evenly as I could. This one's a little more rounder, while this one's a little more exaggerated and kind of winged out. Hold on while I try to fix this again. Okay, now I have that as even as I possibly could could have gotten it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Clay Baby from the palette. It's kind of like this mustardy brown. It's a little more on the yellow side and I'm gonna use this to kind of blend right along the edges of the black line. Not the black line, but the green that we used. And then I'm gonna go back in with that first shade and kind of help with that blend and make sure that kind of line stays a little more, um, kind of stays prevalent. I'm just taking a small little bunny brush and blending that out. I'm only going to blend out this top part. I'm not going to blend out the side or anything like that because I want that side to be very clean and sharp. And then I'm going back into the board in the house shade that we first use on a more precise pointed blending brush. Um, just to kind of help with the blend, but keeping it really precise still, you know? With the two shades. 
And now that I have this kind of blended out to where I want it to be, I'm going to go back in with that angle brush to redefine the very bottom part of it, of the uh, line, and of that wing, because I am now going to pack in, pack this outer corner with that same green shade. Um, to kind of fill it in. So I'm getting kind of just use a kind of more of a stumpy brush, kind of like this, picking up that color and just pushing it in because I'm going to put uh, a shimmer shade right next to it. So I kind of want it to kind of blend into something. And if your outer corner kind of starts getting kind of messy, don't worry about that because we'll clean that up with concealer later. And now taking a little flat shader brush, I'm going to go into the shade Fool's Gold. It's, kind of, it's a green gold. And I'm going to pick that up. Actually, I want to also spray this because I kind of want it to have a little more of a shine to it. So I'm just going to take my second spray. This is just the Patrick Ta Dewey Face Mist. Spray that. And then apply to the outer corner. Blend it in to where I packed in that green shade. Now I'm just going back and forth between the two shades to uh, kind of make sure that there's no harsh edges. And then in the inner half, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Bless You from the palette. It's just a more lighter gold champagne um, to pack in right next to the green golds. Then I'm taking a little bit more of that Clay Baby shade, that kind of like mustard color, to kind of blend down a little bit further into the crease because I did kind of only bring it up to a, my eyebrow but just because I want a little bit more definition for my eye and then going back to the angle brush I'm gonna go ahead and take up the matte black that's in the palette because I feel like I don't have as much definition in the outer corner so I'm gonna kind of line that graphic line with the with the black and it kind of faded in as well too Okay, so now I kind of have this eye done for right now, so I'm going to go ahead and catch this eye up to speed, and I'll be right back to show y'all what else I do for the eyeballs. So off camera, I ended up adding a little flick of eyeliner to kind of kind of connect the wing a little bit and kind of give my eyes a little more of a feline shape, and then I also did clean up the sides with a little bit of my NARS Cody Concealer, because this is the best thing to ever have been invented in this world. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys out so we can go ahead and do this face, and we can go back to the eyeballs once we're done. I want to firstly moisturize my face here a little bit, so I'm going to take a little bit of my favorite ultra repair cream from First Day Beauty because my skin has been very dry lately. What's new? For primer today, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my professional moisturizing, no, professional hydrate primer. Again, skin is very dry today. So we are just going to put on everything moisturizing that's possible. But I'm mainly I'm just going to put this right in my T-zone where my pores are the most visible and prominent. I'm gonna quickly color correct Maybelline Master Camo in orange. I want to use some of my Auric, what is it called, Glow Less Radiant Luminizer in the shade Pirate, Pirate, Pirate. Thing that's how you say it to kind of highlight um, my high points under my foundation. I really do like this. At first, when I first bought it, I didn't really care for it too much, but honestly, it's it, it's become one of my new favorite products, and I really love the undertone of it because it does have that very olive undertone. 
which I have. I'm just gonna hit the high points of my face with this. And this is honestly so much different compared to the uh, Highwood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Silvery. Like the Charlotte Silvery one, I could use as a foundation if I wanted to. This, I would not be able to use as a foundation, I feel like. Well, definitely not. I can use it like under my foundation and stuff like that, which I do for the Charlotte Silvery one too, but this one, there's no coverage at all. But this one does leave a really pretty finish. Which I use I use this one for a highlighter a lot too. But I don't think I'm gonna I'm going to today. Because I kind of want to use a powder highlighter. So for today's foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in shade 3WO, 3 Warm Olive. So I kind of want to go in with more of a lighter coverage foundation today. I'm just pointing that out on my little dish here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my same Smith Cosmetics brush. This is the 115. Start applying it. And then I'll go in with a sponge to push it in to the skin. And then in places where I want a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna take my Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Ginger. Um, that I used earlier and a small concealer brush to kind of add a little more coverage in a few areas. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzing today to really warm up my face. So this is my uh, Bobbi Brown foundation skin, foundation stick, and golden almonds. So I'm gonna take the stick foundation where I like to bronze, where I want the warmth. This is a really warm tone bronzer, I mean foundation, so it's really gonna <laughs> make me look a lot more bronzed and tan, which I really love because I am pasty as ever right now. And then blending this out with my favorite Morphe E63 brush. And then going back over with my beauty blender to make sure it's blended in evenly. Moving on to concealer. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in shade 6. I'm gonna apply this in all of the places I love to highlight my butt shade. You guys know the deal. This Giorgio Armani concealer has honestly been like one of my new favorite everyday concealers because it's not too heavy and it's not like. I don't, I don't know how to t like how to explain it, but it just leaves such a nice finish, even under powders. It's not like too crazy coverage either. It's very buildable, I feel like, but it's really been my favorite for everyday makeup. Then to conceal, oh my god! Then to set the concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NARS uh, light reflecting powder and translucent. and pushing it into the skin as well too. And then I'm gonna also set my smile lines and above my lip, nose and my forehead. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe away the excess with a little brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my bronzer using Benefit Hula to contour my face and my nose. I'm making sure to kind of pat around the edges and then going in and buffing around. 
Um, just so that I'm not moving what I have underneath and kind of setting it in place. The cream's in place first. I'm taking my Makeup Shack T33 brush, small little blending brush, to contour and snatch my nose. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my brow pencil because I want to quickly fill back in whatever areas I kind of covered with my foundation while applying it. So kind of like the tail ends of my eyebrows and the very front half. For my blush, I'm gonna go into Patrick Ta She's Passionate. One of my all-time favorite blushes just because it's so uh, it just goes with everything honestly. And I'm just gonna buff this in to my cheeks. And I'm kind of going kind of high up because that's what I normally really do and that's what I kind of like with my blush. And applying a wee bit on my nose because that's what I like. <laughs> and then quickly I'm going to go into my Fenty Banana Loose Powder to kind of snatch the sides of my nose and go underneath the corners of my mouth to kind of give myself a little bit of a lift. And I'm just going to take the same sponge I used earlier, camel sponge, and then going right down the sides of my nose. And I'm going to let that sit for a little bit so that it kind of kind of creates a little bit of a cast in those areas which is intentional <laughs> and then going into highlighter I'm gonna go ahead and use this Estee Lauder oh my god bronze goddess heat wave highlighter and it's super pretty but super glittery as well too so I'm gonna be kind of careful with it I'm just gonna go ahead and use a fan brush like I said I'm gonna be careful with it and use a fan brush Elin, you're stupid. Hold on. <laughs> Let me grab a regular brush. This is my Anastasia highlighting brush. And I'm going to hit the high points. Then using my finger to highlight the center of my nose and the bridge as well too. I don't really use a brush anymore to highlight my nose. I just feel like that's a little too much work and kind of excessive for no reason, really. So that's what I've been doing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the bake that I have going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now using the same Patrick Todd Dewey Face Mist. And then off camera, I'm going to go ahead and put on mascara and put on a pair of falsies. The lashes I'm going to use today are Iconic Lights from House of Lashes because they will have that kind of winged out effect. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I will be right back to finish off the looks with the lips. Alright? Alright. Got my lashes on. I got my puppy dog ears away. <laughs> my bangs just look so weird right now. I don't want to talk about it. Um, where did I pick that up? I'm here. I was right here. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips using this LA Girl Lip Liner in Sugar and Spice. And this is very dull, so I need to sharpen it. Hold on. Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and overline my lips using this. And then I think we're going to go ahead and take the shade Raquel from The Audacious Lipstick from NARS. Um, hopefully this isn't going to be too pink. Let's see. No, I actually really like this shade. I'm gonna go ahead and redefine my lips really quickly with the same lip liner. And this right here is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. I've never really, I've never really done like this kind of like eye shadow before, and I really do like the form formula of that. Um, I mean, my Mitchell palettes, and yeah, I really like how everything looks. I hope you guys did too. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this video guys and I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to do this type of eye look and makeup 
And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.